Hello and welcome to Spira Team by Infletra. Today we're going to be learning about the Spira Team Document Center. When you log into Spira Team and you first come to the My page, you can then click on the Project Home Documents link. This will take you into the Spira Team Document Center. Each project in Spira Team has its own document center. This lets you see all the documents that have been uploaded into the system. So if you attach a document or a screenshot or a web link to a requirement or a test case or in any other part of the system, as well as it being attached to that specific item, it will also be in the central document view. The great thing about the central document view is you can then search and sort and find documents across the entire project, regardless of what they've been attached to. For example, you can click on the root folder. You can search just in that folder, click on a different folder like design documents. These are our design documents. You can refresh it. You can filter by any of the fields. For example, if I want to sort by when it was edited on, if I want to filter it to only show me the documents with the word book in the name. Also, I might want to find documents across the project regardless of which folder it's in. I can do that as well. All I do is change the drop down from items in the current folder to all items. Now I can search across all the documents in the entire project. Maybe I want to find any document that is of a specific type. Maybe it's a screenshot. I can choose that from my filter, hit filter, and now I'm going to see all the screenshots in the entire Spira Team project. Now, the other thing I can do is search by meta tag. When you upload documents into the system, you can tag it with a free text keyword. The more times a document uses that keyword, it will be in a bigger font in the tag cloud, which you see on the bottom left. If I click on that link, it will now filter the entire project library of documents by that keyword or phrase. This is now, for example, showing me all the documents in the project that have the word book management in either the title, tags, or description field. So that's a great way to find things easily if you're not sure where they are. If I hover the mouse over a document, it brings up a details pop-up. This lets me see for every given document, the name, the description, the file format, in this case it's a Word document, a short description that was entered. You can also see the version number. The system allows you to upload different versions. So that's way, if someone has a new update to this functional spec, they can upload it into the system to version 3.0. And the nice thing is any document, that's, any attachment that this is linked to will pick up the, the new version. So if I attach the same functional spec to two different requirements, then upload a new version, both requirements will pick up that new version automatically. There's also links for the tags. Clicking on any of these links will automatically change the filter to filter on that tag. So that way, if you find a document, you like it, and you want to find other documents that might be related, you just click on that link, and it will find other documents that match. If I click on a document, it takes me into the document details page. That lets me see, in more detail, the document's name, description. You can see which folder it's in, in the, in the project document hierarchy. You can also see which type it belongs to. You can see who wrote it and who last edited it. Also, you can see the individual versions. For example, this particular document has two versions, one that was uploaded on the 2nd of May, or one that was a revision that was uploaded on the 30th of May. If you want to revert back to an earlier version, you just click on this Make Active link, and that will make the version 1.0 version active. If you want to purge an old version from the system, you can just click on the Delete link, and that will purge it. Note, you cannot purge the currently active revision. To do that, you have to purge the whole document. The other thing you can see on this page is the Associations tab. That lets you see the items in Spiraty that this document is linked to. For example, this particular document is linked to a single requirement in the requirements matrix. You might want to add then link this to a different part of the system. We might want to add this perhaps to a test case. So we can choose test case, enter the test case ID, and hit Add Association, and now it's linked. So now we've linked this one document to both a requirement and a test case. Lastly, if you want to upload a new version, that's very easy. You simply browse onto your file system where the new version is, enter the new description, enter the new version number, and hit upload. If you want to make this the active version, check the box. 
If you're uploading an older version, perhaps, that you want to just store in the system, you can leave this unchecked. One other thing, oftentimes you may have documents that you want to upload that don't belong to a specific requirement or a specific part of the, of the rest of the system. They're just project documents. In which case, you can add the document by clicking on this Add Document link right here in the Document Sharing Center. When you choose that option, you can now upload the document directly into the document system. You can always associate it with a requirement or a test case or a defect or a task later on, so don't worry. You can choose the format. Is it a file I'm uploading from my hard disk? Is it a web link I'm entering, just the URL? Or maybe it's a screenshot. Spirity comes with a built-in screen capture tool, so you can just do a print screen and you can just paste it directly in. Then you can simply choose the end of the description, choose the document type, enter the default version if it's a new document, and add any meta tags. So maybe it's you know books and authors are my tags. And then I just hit upload, and that will upload it into the system. And that is the Aspire Team Document Center. Thanks for listening.